Here's a quick video on why I use my digging shovel. This is a regular shovel. Everybody's seen one. They're a little heavy. Sometimes they're a little frightful for a, a homeowner to see out in the yard with one of these, so I don't use them. Maybe sometimes back in the woods. This is a leche digger, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, it's a pretty awesome little shovel. I like it, but I don't. Uh, it's nice and short, doesn't weigh a lot. And, uh, but mine's concave, as you, as you can see that. And uh, a lot of them are flat. I got that version because I thought maybe I could get just a perfect plug with it. You can, but you also can't if there's some moisture in the ground. I don't use it a lot. These shovels right here, which this is a non-modified version, you usually see one that I've used that's orange that's been cut off. I learned this from other detectorists. I'm just gonna say who it is, it's Aqua Chigger. Quite a few other people also use them. You can buy these at Lowe's or Home Depot. I bought this one at uh, Lowe's. It's called a Razorback. It's maybe $30. Uh, they're pretty awesome little shovels. They got a good place to put your boot on there or shoe, whatever you wear. And uh, you know, to place your foot on the back of that thing. And uh, you can modify these. I usually take a four inch grinder and put teeth on the side of it, or cutting edge actually coming in from this angle. So when the force is going down with the angle going up, I can cut roots just on one side. Sharpen the ends of it and then cut the end off. And uh, if you all want to know more about that, check them out at you know Home Depot or Lowe's. That both of them got. I think they're both made by the same people, just different colors and different stickers. But uh, I'm going to modify this and I'll show you how I do it. So here we go. And if you've never seen an ultralight, that's my crazy neighbor, and I'm sure we'll see more of him before this video is up. This is a common utility knife, razor blade, whatever you want to call it. Uh, need one of those. The only way to get these handles back on to the, to the actual black part is to cut them off about halfway down. There's the top, there's the bottom, somewhere in here. So that's the only way that I've been able to find to get them back on there, you know, effectively. So I'm just going to run the blade across the middle of this. You don't have to press real hard. You can try to get more of the rubber part to stay if you want. You know, take off a little less at each time <clears throat> until you finally get it to come off. But I'm just going to start in the middle because I know it works in the middle. Now that we got that cut down about four or five inches, take a small screwdriver. You can see this one's a little bit bent, <laughs> but anything that'll reach the end because there's glue underneath there, it's been adhered. So just take your screwdriver and take, put it up underneath there and push it all the way to the end without poking it back through that rubber handle. Pull it back out and work that each time all the way around that. You might not see it, but I am rotating that each time I put it in there. I'll make a mark here so you can see that I'm turning it. See, I'll put it in there and you can hear that glue letting loose. Rotate it a little bit, push it up in there, and do it again. Keep doing it until you've been all the way around it and you can hear it all pull loose. And then once you have it to that point, you can grab a hold of it. Usually put two thumbs underneath of it. Start working it off there. And there it is. So now that I got the handle off, now we gotta think about the size that we're gonna want. You know, this is the regular shovel, common shovel. It's pretty long, just like this one that I'm building. So I wanna cut it off. You know, when I think about it, got the shovel in the ground, I put my boot on it, my hand's about right there. So if I had it up here, you know, that's, I, I need to short, I wanna be able to shorten it. So can I use it physically there? Yes, use it there. It might be a little short, but the shorter the better. So maybe about right there. So that's where I'm gonna cut it at because it feels, if I, the handle ends up right there, that's where I'm gonna grab it and stick my boot on and do my digging. Just something to think about when you're cutting yours off. And being that I just hit my record button, or I thought I did when I just recorded this last bit when I cut this, I really can't go back and do it again. This is what it looked like before, and I just had a basic mark on there, and I used a regular hand saw like this. You can use about anything, and I solved this. When you saw it, this is fiberglass. And the fiberglass is sensitive to your skin. It's almost like insulation will make you itch. So maybe put some gloves on, and also don't breathe it. So being that I can't reattach this and cut it again, I can't go back and remake my video, so that's what I did with this saw. So here's the bottom of my shovel. And there's the part we just cut off. Here's the rubber piece we took off before, it's the end cap. I need to put this back on here. You can put this on and slide it back on into place and have it done, but it's not gonna stay. 
uh, put some glue of any sort in there. And what I just noticed inside there, which I forgot about, and I'm gonna have a hard time digging it out of there, is there's a cap. Here it comes. This thing, okay? That's gonna be inside your handle when you take it off. Slide it back into, into here. It's just loose, it doesn't like stick and stay. You can glue that back into place just so the top is rounded for you know easier hands once this is back on the top. You can see how it's conformed to that little cap that just went back in there. So glue that cap into place and then put some glue on the inside of this and run it back on. So here it is folks. I don't have any good glue with me. I would probably get like Gorilla Glue or something else, but I'm just gonna use wood glue. Any glue will work. And if it doesn't work, I'll glue it better next time. So here's my little cap. I'm just gonna smear some glue on there so that it'll stay in place. Stick that in there. That's got a big old glob of glue on there. And then I'm gonna put some glue on top. Maybe some glue down inside here. You can see I just gooped it in there in a circle. Hopefully you can see that. So there's a substantial amount of glue in there. I'm just gonna push this on. Maybe spin it as I'm going down. Big old glob of glue. <laughs> so, then once you get that in there, you can clean it up. Just run your finger around it. Keep your rag handy. So there it is, my new dig shovel. It's a little wider. They have two different versions of this. One's a little thinner this way. You know, it might be maybe two inches smaller. I don't know what size this one is. Let me see if I can find it. Five inches. So it's five inches across. And uh, the depth of it, I don't know, maybe close to a foot. Uh, this thing was super long. Now it's at the right height for me to stick it in the ground, put my boot on it, push it in, and pop all my big gold coins and Morgan silver dollars out of the ground. Throw it over your shoulder. It's mini. Small version with a lot of dig power. And uh, now we'll uh, sharpen it up as the next step. The next step is to sharpen it. This is a four inch grinder. This is a grinding wheel, not a cutting wheel. You can do this with a file as well, but it'll take forever. So if you have access or maybe somebody in your family has one of these, have them sharpen your tools. The most important part about dig tools is to have them sharp, even if it's a hand digger. So this is a grinding wheel. This is a four inch grinder. I want it sharp here. So here we go. Wear hearing protection whenever you do this. And that's that. This is my new digging shovel. It's nice and sharp. It's at my right height, so that it makes it easy to dig with. They do have a lifetime warranty or guarantee on them. So, lifetime warranty. But I think I just voided it. So, thanks for joining me. Hopefully I'll be get out, getting out and doing some city lots hunting this week, doing a few of them in the same day. And uh, I'll be hopefully using this shovel. Till next time, thanks for watching.